Hey guys, so let's get it started. For brows, I'm using Brow Wiz in Soft Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I decided I wanted to just do a simple brow today. So we're just doing some short strokes going towards the tail of the brow and blending it out with the little spoolie. And I use Soft Brown because I feel like it just looks a lot more natural than Dark Brown. I feel like Dark Brown, if you do a little too much, it can get looking really dramatic. And to bring these brows and set them, I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It's a new bottle, I get super excited. To conceal, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. And I'm just using a brush love brush. I know they don't have this anymore, but they do have the E30 from Sigma that is basically the same thing, you guys. So I will put that down below, I'm blending out with that, and then just blending with my finger. For the palette today, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. I already primed my lids with the 286 and Painterly. I'm going in with Eden with an E40 from Sigma and we're gonna make this our transition color for the most part. Basically just wanted to put a base down. I always like to use warm bases even if I'm using cool colors. So I'm just using this as our crease color and then I'm going in with Dimension. I'm using an Urban Decay brush, like the flat brush that comes with the palettes. And for basically most of the eyeshadow, I didn't have to wet the brush, which was a very good sign of great pigment. So I do wet the brush later on, but to basically just put on a base, it didn't need any wetness. It was just awesome. So I was happy with that. Now I'm taking an E37 with Parallel. I'm just kind of mapping out where my crease is so I don't go too high with the shadow. I like to do that sometimes just so it looks really nice and clean. And I'm just blending it out with that E40. Don't worry if it looks a little messy. Sometimes I do my eyeshadow like backwards and forwards and backwards again, so everything will be blended out, I promise. Now you can see where I'm putting the eyeshadow there. Just bring it up to that line. And then I'm taking Osiris and I'm going in the outer V area, kind of keeping it in the eye area. I'm not going towards the brow too much. I'm really keeping it on the eyelid area. I really wanted it to be a round kind of look. Because usually I can bring it out towards the tail of my brow, but I really wanted to keep it like a closed it off kind of halo. So I'm just going back in with that E37 and blending it out with an E25 that's clean. And then I'm gonna go in with Saturn and just kind of warm things up in the crease. So you can see I'm going backwards with everything, but you know what? Sometimes it works out that way. And then I'm just adding some more Osiris. And I'm also gonna add some more Dimension as well, just so I get a little bit fancy here with some wetness. I don't know why I'm saying wetness. I sound like a crazy person. Um, I'm just wetting the brush a little bit so you can see that pigment is banging. And I'm going in the inner corners, out of me, and then adding a little bit more dimension there. I'm using the Kiss New York Pro Eyeliner. This is their like magical ink liner. I'm trying it for the first time. It actually was not bad. It was a little bit harder to use than the Kat Von D, which I'm used to, but I mean, it's super black, super opaque, dries really nice, and I liked it. For mascara, I'm using Tarte Stars Mascara, of course. Just putting it on my lashes. I've actually been using Grande Lash, the uh, lash rower, lash serum. And my lashes have been like growing like crazy, so I definitely recommend that. I'll put it down below. For lashes, I'm using Bougie by Gigi by Lashes. And before then, I'm gonna put on Pores No More Primer by Dr. Brandt. I'm just putting that all over, rubbing it through my fingers, and then putting it all over the face. Gonna pop those bougie lashes on. These are 20% off right now, and they're almost all gone, guys. So if you wanna get them, get them now. For foundation, I'm using the Faux Filter Foundation by Huda Beauty, which is the first time I'm using this. So I'm using a, I think this is a mascara beauty brush just to put this on with. And I wanted to do a half face to see what coverage was like. And man, the coverage is pretty insane. 
it really looks like there's like a filter on your face which I thought was pretty nice I like filters you can see like that's pretty crazy it completely covers everything all discoloration smooths out the skin it was a little bit light I'm using color butter pecan but you know I can easily bronze it up and we're going to use some light medium honey again by Tarte the shape tape and I'm going in with medium as well just to cover some more I'm using a beauty blender guys look I haven't used a beauty blender in forever so I decided to use a beauty blender since I got them sent to me so why not I haven't used them in forever but it's so funny because I still love the density of the 3D HD by Sigma and I just can't get away from it. For contour I'm using the Mascara Beauty Shadow Contour and I'm using the other end of that Mascara Beauty brush and I just love the way this contour comes out. It's so natural. It really makes your cheeks like pop out. It's got like this natural gray tone, but it has like a little bit of red in there too, so it warms like the face up. It's very, very interesting. I really have never seen a contour like this before, so I'm pretty obsessed with it. And to set the under eye and cheekbones, I'm using the Translucent Powder by Kat Von D, the Locket Setting Powder. I will say one thing, I do like the way that the Beauty Blender grabs onto the powder and puts it on. It puts on a lot better than the other sponges that I use. So I'm taking this angled concealer brush by Sigma and I'm blending it out and just kind of putting some lines on the nose, down the bridge, closer to the bridge, then to the sides, and then just blending it out with my finger. See now you can see the little red tone there. But again, it just kind of makes everything look super natural because it's got like that little red pigment in there that's not too gray, not too bronzy. And I just feel like it's the best contour I've probably ever used as a cream. Now I'm just taking a Tarte Kabuki and just kind of blending all that out. I'm now using the KKW Beauty Contour in Medium. I'm using an old Sephora angled brush. And just kind of bronze and everything up and that's what I like too. I like to have a contour and a bronzer so I feel like sometimes I like two in one but I like that that contour was specifically to contour and not to bronze. For blush I'm using Tipsy by Tarte with an F10 by Sigma and then we're gonna do the under eye and I'm using an E20 I believe. I always forget this one. But I'm putting that on the under eye and then I'm going in with Dimension or actually Osiris with the same brush because I'm lazy. And just doing that same old thing, same old motion. Now I'm wiping away with an F25 because I can't find my F37, but that's okay because the F25 was the OG. And I'm putting on some mascara. Putting a little bit more wash on because, I mean, I never not have enough blush. And I loved the way Lucid looked in the inner corner. It was so pretty. Put on the brow bone as well. It just looks super, super pretty with that little cool tone. It just works. Cool tones and warm tones just work. Now I'm using the Winter Solstice Palette by Huda Beauty. Holy crap, guys. This is the most pigmented highlighter I've ever seen in my life. This one, the gold one is, I mean, they're all insane, but I don't know, like, that is just not real. Like, it's unreal. But I love it so freaking much. I'm using an M501 brush by Morphe. I'm putting it in the inner corners too because it just will look so much cooler with that little bit of blue. Putting a little bit on my nose with my middle finger. I'm not giving you guys a middle finger, but I just use my middle finger because it's just my favorite finger to use for nose highlight. Yeah. For lips, I'm using Plum Lip Liner by MAC. I actually never really used this when I worked there, but now I love it. It's so interesting how that works. And then I'm using Space Bubble. This is their new liquid lip glosses that are like super, super holographic. 
and this one is super pretty and I feel like I never use glosses so why not you know and I've actually got requests to use more glosses than matte lipsticks because that's all I do is use matte lipsticks so I promise I will use more glosses and glossy things setting with Tatcha Dewey Mist Spray I'm running out I need to get another bottle and that's it you guys I hope you have enjoyed this falling into winter tutorial I like the way it came out. I'm happy. I hope you guys are happy too. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I do have another video that I filmed. Um, look at me being prepared. But I want to know your suggestions. Comment them down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. And thumbs this video up if you like it. And I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Bye.